Goa ROT is an exciting project. Goa stands for quantization and ROT stands for rotation. Goa ROT is a post-training quantization scheme that enables 4-bit inference of LLMs by removing the outlier features. Goa ROT is a scheme based on rotations, which is able to quantize LLM and to end including all weights, activations and key value cache in 4 bits. Warrot rotates LLMs in a way that removes outliers from the hidden state without changing the output, making quantization very easy. If you look at this diagram, this should shows you before quad and after Warrot. Warrot uses the computational invariance idea from slice GPT and fuses randomized adamant matrices into weight matrices. This enables the researchers to remove all the outlier features without changing the model output, which is known to be the main bottleneck in 4 bit inference, and that is huge. Coarot applies a similar idea to the attention modules and removes the outliers during KV cache quantization. The researchers have quantized both keys and values to 4 bit using token wise per head quantization. Using this idea, Coarot enables 4 bit quantization of weights, activations, and a cache of Lama 2 family with 0.29 wiki text to perplexity loss on 70 billion model. And it retains 99% of the zero shot accuracy of the baseline model, which is massive. And all of this information, tables, and figures are present in their paper. I will drop the link to it in video's description. And then you can see that on the system side, they have developed a simple CUDA kernels for Coarot, where they have done a lot of great things. And then on this figure, Coarot, you can see that Coarot can quantize KV cache using 4 and 3 bits with at most 0 0.04 and 0 0.18 wiki text to perplexity loss. As I mentioned in this paper, um, which is available on archive, they have a lot of great things and really hats off to all of these researchers, Saleh Ashbuz and Amir Kavian, Maximilian, Martin, uh, Bo, Dan, Torsten and James for this massive awesome project. Let's also try to install this core rot on our local system and then we will also try to do a fake quant. I have a one GPU on my local system so I'm not sure if it would work or not but at least we can give it a try, no harm in trying. I have this Ubuntu server which has uh, which is 22.04, one GPU of 16 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB and hopefully I would have plenty of space on my local disk. Oops, I have just 18 gigs so let me clear it a bit and then we will try to do the um, this core rot. So I have created some space and I have cleared my screen. Let's first create a conda environment so that everything will be in same sp um, space. So I'm creating the conda environment with core rot. So let's wait and then we will activate this environment. Just say yes here. Let's wait and now let's just activate this and you can see that now it, the environment is enabled and core rod is in parenthesis. Now in the next step what we need to do we need to git clone the core rod github repo and this is the URL of it let's press enter that is done now let's cd to this core rod and now simply do pip install dash e dot or pip install dot same thing let's press enter and it is going to install a lot of prerequisites if they are available maybe let's do pip install dot okay let me see what is the issue here i think we need to install this prerequisite separately i guess you can see that it is complaining that no module named torch because i have created uh, this new conda environment so we would need to install the torch so i will just say pip install torch let's wait for the torch to get installed torch is installed let me clear my screen and then i will run that pip command again so let me run this pip command again here let's press enter 
it is preparing the metadata this time so let's wait for it to finish it took bit of a time but now you can see that coarot is installed now in order to do the quantization i will show you the command so this is the command which we need to run which is primarily running the python function here with the main.py and just to give you an idea i am at the root of this uh, github repo if you do ls-ltr then you can see this directory uh, structure here and if you cd to this fake font we clear my screen and then you can see that there is this main.py present here and that is what i was referring to okay so let me sorry let me put the command here again and i will try to explain what exactly this command is doing now first we are running this uh, main.py here and i have the python for python 3 in this one i am calling the model with llama 2 7 billion from the hugging face currently it only supports llama 2 model then there is something called as rotate rotate is whether we want to rotate the model or not so we do definitely and then it is using v bits k bits w bits and w clip now <clears throat> v bit is the number of bits for value quantization k bit is number of bits for key quantization and then w bits is whether we want to clip the weights or not and then we have something called as w underscore clip which uh, which is around whether we want to clip the weights or not and w bits are something for weight quantization okay now i'm not sure if my gpu will be supported but this is how you can simply run the perplexity of llama 2 7 billion model with quantizing all weights and activation so this is how simple this thing is another thing which i missed mentioning that you would need a hugging face token in order to run this now in order to get the hugging face token go to your hugging face website log in with your email account then either if you have the read token then use it let me create a new one i'll just say it coarot and the read is fine generate a token and then copy it go back to your machine and from here just paste it under the codes now let me run it but I, but I think I don't have access to this llama 2 7 billion model but let's try it out there you go so you see that it is a gated model it is saying that I am trying to access a gated repo so I would need uh, to apply for the access to the uh, llama 2 so let me show you what I mean so if I go to this llama 2 model let me take you take you up this is a llama 2 I already have requested the access with my email normally it takes the one day or two when it comes but but anyway uh, at least now we know how to run this quantization once you have this access and you will run this command let me clear the screen and show you the command again this one you should be able to run this coarot on this llama 2 model so really good project i should say again i think really impressive uh, really like the way they have presented it and 4-bit inference is always welcome that's it guys let me know your thoughts on it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching